So you're thinking of moving to Las Vegas, Nevada from California? In this video, I'm gonna provide you with some details and facts to help you answer the question if moving from California to Las Vegas is a good idea. And we're gonna get after it right now. If you are new to this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad about living in Las Vegas and the surrounding areas, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the very first to know about the current market here in Las Vegas. Hi, my name is Mark Peppy, and the team and I get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Las Vegas. We are passionate about removing the stress of relocating to a completely new city and state. As a real estate professional here, it doesn't matter whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we'll be more than happy to help you make a smooth move to Las Vegas. So let's dive into this question on whether moving from California to Las Vegas is a good idea. I can speak directly to this question firsthand from experience. I was born and raised in Southern California in the Pasadena area. I went to college at Cal State Fullerton, let's go Titans, and I got married and had two young kids prior to making a move to Las Vegas over 15 years ago. Looking back, I can tell you it was one of the best decisions my wife and I could have ever made. I wanted to share with you some of the reasons why we decided to make the move. The most obvious is the cost of living. With housing usually your largest expense in the cost of living equation, the medium home price in Las Vegas is $440,000, while California sits at $801,000, which equates to a 45% savings. You don't have to be a mathematician to understand that is almost twice as expensive to buy a home in California as it is here in the Las Vegas Valley. We immediately were able to take advantage of this price gap when we moved here. With housing being less expensive, property taxes are also more reasonable at 0.74% of the purchase price versus California, which sits at approximately 1%. You know, the truth is, our tourists pay most of our taxes. Thank you very much, tourists. We appreciate you. In general, business taxes are much lower than California as well, and regulations are lighter. So Las Vegas is a great place to open a business or move your business to without the government getting too much in your way. On the flip side, a few things like DMV registration fees and car insurance premiums tend to be on the higher side. You do need to get a smog check every year here upon renewing your car registration versus every other year in California. Maybe that's one reason why smog is typically not an issue here in Las Vegas like it tends to be in Southern California. One other area you will notice a sizable difference is in gas prices. Las Vegas is at $4.24 per gallon, while California is approximately 60 cents plus higher per gallon. This savings also adds up over time. As you probably know, Nevada has no state income tax, so you don't have to file a state return every April. California, on the other hand, keeps anywhere from 10 to 13% out of every dollar you earn. Ouch. This is a tremendous difference between the two states and something that provided a substantial value the minute I moved to Las Vegas. Nevada also has no estate or inheritance tax, no tax on retirees pensions, and Clark County, where Las Vegas is located, has a lower sales tax rate of 8.38%. From a cost of living index perspective, which compares what it costs to live in one place against another, showing how far your money will go 
in different cities and states is first calculated by determining a baseline for comparison, which is 100, the average cost of living in the US. For comparison's sake, Las Vegas has a cost of living index of 111. Los Angeles is at 176. San Diego is at 160. And San Francisco is at a mind-boggling 189. This means it's anywhere from 49% to 78% cheaper to live in Las Vegas than those three major metropolitan cities in California. That is a staggering difference. If you are looking to get out of the rat race, I think you know where I would recommend you make a move to next. Let's talk about the sense of community and lifestyle. There are things to consider beyond finances when moving from California to Las Vegas, and the quality of life ranks right up there at the top. The master plan communities here in the Las Vegas Valley, many of which are newer, truly provide an incredible sense of community with thoughtfully designed neighborhoods, organized activities and events for the whole family, a plethora of parks and recreational amenities including walking, biking and hiking trails immediately in and around each community, along with clean, well-lit streets that encourages and promotes interacting with others in your community. I know there are cities and areas in California that do do a decent job, but for the vast majority, the sense of community is definitely lacking. Despite a population of 2.5 million people in the valley, in many ways, Las Vegas is still a small town. It sometimes seems like everybody knows each other, especially in public and business circles, where participation levels are high and where old ties run deep. It's also a great place for new beginnings and very welcoming to new residents. You'll meet people from all backgrounds and walks of life, which truly adds to the unique and wonderful culture of Las Vegas. The feeling my family and I felt upon moving here and still do today is the people here are more down to earth than specifically the SoCal scene. On another note, some people think that because California has the beaches, ocean, and mountains, it's a better place to live for those who love going outside. However, if the outdoors is an important part of your lifestyle, Las Vegas has an incredible outdoor beauty and activities as well. Matter of fact, Nevada is the most mountainous state in the US, has incredible desert scapes, and even has a fair number of lakes and bodies of water to enjoy. You definitely won't run out of things to do in the outdoors and have over 300 days of sunshine to take advantage of. The last thing I wanted to mention around lifestyle is that even though I don't gamble, I do visit the local resorts and casinos for amenities like incredible unique restaurants, shows, movie theaters, and more. They even offer a locals discount, which is a great benefit to have. I wanted to mention traffic and accessibility as well. You know, saying goodbye to the Los Angeles freeways, endless gridlock, being late for work, or spending hours a day in my car was an absolute no-brainer. Traffic here is a breeze compared to California, while distances are smaller in comparison. As I've shared in various map videos, which you definitely need to check out, you will see the Las Vegas Valley is a relatively small geographical area encompassing 27 to 28 miles from north to south and 26 miles or so east to west. This makes getting from point A to point B very accessible with commutes that are uh, fairly short with maybe a little morning and afternoon backup around the strip where jobs and tourists are concentrated. There's not much in the way of public transportation, but there's not much of that in California either. In addition, roads are generally much better maintained here than in California and cleaner with little to no debris where California roads have plenty of potholes along with debris littered along certain freeways. Although there's quite a bit of road construction here to accommodate the growing number of people living here in the Las Vegas Valley. With little to no traffic, my quality of life significantly improved when I moved here as I got back two hours of my day that my family very much approved of. 
You know, next is proximity to Southern California. You may be asking, why is it important to still be close to California when you want to get out of the out of Dodge and not have to experience that lifestyle anymore? Well, we had and still have a lot of our family there. We still enjoy visiting the beach every so often, and as a baseball fan, more specifically an Angels fan, I still love going to see them play in person, even though it's been tough sledding the last number of years for my Halos. Things are gonna get better though, I know it. So only having to drive three and a half hours to visit versus having to get on a plane for a long flight further east or all the way across the country and not have to deal with a time change is definitely an advantage. Next is education. Now while this may come as a bit of a surprise, both states have schools that rank higher than others. In Las Vegas, Clark County is the fifth largest school district in the country behind LA Unified School District that is the second largest. Based on where you choose to live in Las Vegas, there are a number of terrific options, whether it is public, charter, or private school. In my family's experience, the schools our kids attended provide a superior education than the schools they would have attended had we stayed back in California. The sense of community, even at the schools here, is evident. So all of these factors played a major role in my family and I relocating to the Las Vegas Valley, which has provided a quantifiable difference in the quality of our life. A few other things to note about moving from California to Las Vegas is that Las Vegas is definitely hotter in the summer months. Los Angeles enjoys the wonderful California sunshine with cooling breezes of the Pacific Ocean. Not so the case here in landlocked Las Vegas Valley. Summer in Las Vegas has similar temperatures to the interior California desert like Palm Springs. But you can't jump in a car and hit the beach on a hot day like you can in California, unless you have a lot of time to spare to make the seven to eight hour round trip worthwhile. Be prepared to endure many weeks of temperatures over 100 degrees. It gets easier over time, I promise. On the plus side, the eight and a half months of the year that are not hot have generally beautiful weather. Plus, we don't have nearly as many major events here like wildfires and earthquakes. Also, in recent years, Nevada has become a major hotspot for retirees. Before, Californians would either move to Palm Springs or Arizona for retirement. But times have changed, especially with the emergence of Las Vegas as a top retirement destination. One of the main reasons people are moving from California to Nevada for retirement is so that they can enjoy the slower, less hectic lifestyle along with the cost of living difference I discussed earlier. If you've lived in California for any amount of time, you know just how fast paced and crazy life can be. Here in the Las Vegas Valley, with less people in congestion, there is a noticeable slower pace of life than neighboring California. But just where in the Las Vegas Valley should you move to when coming from California to retire? The two most popular spots are either in Summerlin or in Henderson, where both areas provide a number of fantastic retirement communities with activities to fit your lifestyle. I recently came across a list of reasons not to move to Las Vegas from California that I thought I would share with you. The first is you love the ocean and can't stand the thought of not living near it. Next is you love living in big cities and populated areas and don't mind sitting in hours of bumper to bumper traffic daily. Next is you don't want to make new friends or a new social circle. And you like telling others you're a Californian. Or lastly, you don't mind giving the government extra money from your hard earned paycheck. You know, if these points describe you, then maybe moving out of state is not for you. However, I think the vast majority will agree that the benefits far out exceed any disadvantages. Well, overall, this gives you a pretty good overview of comparing life in California versus Las Vegas. There are definitely some distinct differences that stand out 
and also a few similarities. I hope you found this video beneficial. You know, my goal in this and other videos is to provide you with a single resource of information on moving to Las Vegas and the surrounding areas so you don't have to spend countless hours searching the internet and combing through a plethora of other resources. So please like and share this video. Please subscribe below and comment if you have any questions or found this video helpful. Also, be sure to check out our other videos on, the Las, uh, on Las Vegas and the surrounding areas so you can get a realistic sense of what it would feel like to live in the Las Vegas Valley. If you feel Las Vegas checks most or all of your boxes when it comes to finding the right area to relocate to from California, my team and I are ready to go to work on your behalf and are extremely proactive in our approach to assist in getting your offer accepted on your ideal home. We don't leave any stones unturned. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, or even book a Zoom appointment in the description below. You know, we are passionate about helping people just like you make a smooth and stress-free move to Las Vegas.